It's really weird sometimes when the music pitches. It's just such a weird effect. Okay, so the research station, I remember, had two robots in front of it. It's kind of near here. Uh, I don't think this area is relevant anymore. I'm kind of surprised it's not blocked off. S Savior. See me. What happened to you? Hi. Concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. Making the vines grow. Is that why vines are everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers, the best I could do, yes. That's... Leave the sun here for you. I know you wanted to see it. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good. For this, fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger of savior. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. People deserve to live, even if it's just for another day. It's nice. different. This game is so different on the second playthrough. It's so interesting. I expected the second playthrough to be mostly the same. Okay, we're barricaded off. But no, it's so different, which is really nice, because I was preparing to play mostly the same game the second time, but it's basically like playing a sequel, except in the same world as the original. Totally didn't expect this. Um, right. How am I going to get to the research station from here? I can't fast travel there, because I haven't been there yet, right? Uh... No. Okay. Uh, back. I'm gonna get to the research. Maybe I'll just try asking a few robots around. Can't go there. One route through this. Man, I can't believe this developer released this game in such a buggy state and left me to fix it? Why do us modders have to do everything all the time? Fixing buggy releases left and right. Okay, I, as far as I can tell, I can't go anywhere else. Where else am I supposed to go? Ah, uh, where am I supposed to go now? Did I just miss something? Completely blocked off in this area, but I need to get to the research station. This leads out wrong, wrong way. This leads to her. She's holding the world together. Can't go this way.
thing here. Go this way. What's supposed to do? It's gonna go. Go that way. Nothing here. Go this way before. This is not useful. I want to go. This was. Bridge is broken. Uh, how am I supposed to go anywhere? Already done that. Okay, I guess I just have to talk to someone. I don't really understand. I've explored everywhere. I guess I'll just go back in my boat place. Actually, am I supposed to use an item with something? I should probably be thinking about this more. I have all these items which would be normally useless. Maybe they're still u oh, I of course I didn't take the crowbar because I already had a crowbar. That's why I didn't take a crowbar because I don't need two crowbars. Duh. Okay, no 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 complaint. I take it back. Could I use in any of these to get a gear and some batteries? I guess the pages that were torn out of the journal in the previous playthrough are the ones that we have now with the drawings. Uh, right, it's not this way. Go back to those guys, but I don't see where to go next. Ask you? I'm still stuck. What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth. Circle with teeth? That sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. He keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. But I can't make it over there. It's impossible for me to make it over there because it's blocked off and the bridge is broken. Can I fix the bridge somehow? I clearly need something to fix the bridge, right? That feels like the next step. Like, okay, you've done all this. You've got all of your locks, right? So now your keys are in the city or the sort of village area. Um, now you can cross the bridge, but I can't complete the bridge. It's impossible to complete the bridge. Wait, I forgot what part. Yeah, I know what I know what parts we need. But what I need is something to fix the bridge with. Can I f take these slabs. Can I can I fix the bridge with the slabs? It's a plane, but it's not. It's not what I'm interested in. Wrench. Okay, so we can't take the wrench. Okay, complaints back again. We didn't take the crowbar because we are a crowbar, but why why are we not taking the wrench? Because it's his wrench. Is that why? <laughs> okay. Uh There must be a way we can fix the bridge.
right? I'm, I'm not wrong for thinking this, right? There has to be a way that we can fix the bridge. I'm so confused, I feel like I've gone everywhere. Something to ask me. So, when our, okay, yeah. That's right. You. Cross them on your boat. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Possible. Difficult. Bridges. Specific locations. For water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. Undertaking. But possible. I tend to use the last of my strength. Stand back. Happened. Okay. You. Sad now. Well, that solves the puzzle, I guess. I just didn't think to talk to them twice. I mean, this isn't Wonderland Adventures, but... I can't think of any other puzzle where all it was was you had to talk to a character two times in a row successively, but... At least in this game. I mean, I can think of plenty of puzzles in other games, but in this game, no, I can't think of any. Only one. But I guess I should have suspected it. It's the vine. Well, here now. Right. The closest destination is to the south. It's the Restoration Center. The trader is further away. Bridge of the forest was just restored. Those evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. Plant Spirit is really looking, really looking out for this, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, I want to go south of here. This is kind of a maze. Uh, no, I don't want to be here. I want to go further south. Um, or maybe I want to be further... Is it further up into this direction? Or... Oh, here. Okay, we're at the research center. Probably have to talk to one of these guys. Oh, I thought they would be in front. Apparently not. Nowhere I can find a battery for the flying machine. Check the power room. Uh, but that's going to deactivate all the robots, isn't it? Low person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. You happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? Kind of an emergency. I don't know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator. Such a device. device. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We had to fix this battery for the thing in the Barrens, didn't we, Anthony? This is the emergency for living beings. You can use the battery from the generator. Oh. Wait. We take the battery from here. All you guys will lose power, won't you? Maybe Anthony should, and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do we must. Oh. Alright. I guess we have no choice but to take this, choice but to take this, Anthony. Alright. 
Alright, that was important. Now have a battery. Yeah. Looks much the same as the other battery, just a different color. Uh, okay, that was our first stop. Next stop, Trader. What are we going to trade him? I don't know. Maybe we'll trade him all of our items, because we kept all of our items this time. He didn't even offer it to us last time. So I guess it is a highly prized possession of his. What a day. We are looking for the guy with the wagon. Oh boy, this is squared off. Nope. Big nobody nope. Talk to some of you guys, maybe? Back anymore. Bad news, man. Yeah, I remember you. Eyes are everywhere. Protecting us, yeah. Okay. Back home. Last long now, will we? Sun can't fix the squares. Sun can't restore the land. Trader guy. Sure am. Your trade? Here I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my cart, which I sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. My collection is very limited right now. I managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, you have this box thing you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah, but there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Thank you. You're not even going to take anything from me. All right, then. No, this is past where I want to be. Back this way. Not that way. This way. This way. And then this way. That way. That way. That, 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 that way. Okay, here we are. Okay. Back we go. That sure took a while, but I'm glad I figured it out. I'm mostly sprinting now, though, because this is sort of retreading the same ground, same areas, even if this is new content. in dire circumstances, we need to hurry. That's my, uh, in- that's my in-game canon reason for the sprinting. Okay. They don't care. Take them to the- this guy. Okay. So. The- first of all, the- gets we got- battery. Right. This is easy. Nice. Honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station. Yeah. It's powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Uh, you can always just give it back later. Alright. A few gears. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, gears. Kind of music box. It should have gears in it, right? 
I assume so, but this looks like one of the ones that my father made. Dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did he get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying they used to trade with some of the people here. I always loved traveling this world despite, well, ah, uh, sorry, I started rambling. Gears in there are compatible with the engine. What are you hiding about your father? Though it pains me to have to take it apart. Sorry. It's fine. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Mind keeping me company. How's it going? Slow. Connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine. I shift have to shift around some of these ports. It's the bolt that keeps getting stuck. Ah, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. Be able to make it to the city by tonight. I say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. You remember her from the last time you were in this world. I... Silver point. What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she's a fox. Not silver point. Oh. I do remember talking to a fox at one point. That Rue. Rue. Memories are still really blurry, though. Let's see. It's just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. But I get so caught up with. And I just kinda forget. Everything is supposed to be not real. And then I remember. I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. Shrew was here. It's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? Granted, I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself. How real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run in the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Father is involved with the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of the square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto, Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated. The existing code. Squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of that simulation. It took him forever to develop the current unstable version. They're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah, but how? Everyone in this world's code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... With... Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? I did say something about being built to breed the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it, at least then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two. None of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it. Outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet bot or prototype was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. 
But as his predictions turned out, the Messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the Messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. The last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet, the World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. Aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing ability of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make his experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Father caught on to the issue in the last minute but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kinda kinda just ended up floating in the void indefinitely, waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their hardware. Me? Yeah. The operator, Anthony, would then generate the universe using the code, come and got it in the process. So Anthony was the living person you needed to borrow. No? That would be you. Why me? I've asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? Do not know. Really need to get going. It's fixed. Leave in the next five minutes if you're ready. Alright. I really like this game's lore. I understand if you're upset. But please try to understand. Father is doing this to help all of us. That includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home. I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... <sighs> the world means a lot to him. No. So, how does flying work? Wait. Is this your world? I already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Re please... Please, please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I would pro I would probably not be able to not panic. I should probably tell Calamus and Lulamur. I mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news. The boat is gone. What? It's the squares. It looks like they're headed this direction. That's fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is a priority I take you to the city first, Nico. What about them? They can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? Wish. Oh yeah! Alright. I will be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm hmm? Squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright then. I don't trust this. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. Ready to go. Alright. That looks like fun. The city. Flying machine. Yeah, <sighs> Made it. You okay there? Must have been quite an experience, hey? That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. See? It was worth it for that, wasn't it? Reactions from first-timers are always delightful to watch. 
Hey, Anthony. That was really fun. You have fun too. Or on the with plane with me, but yeah, I was. You got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah? Thanks. What for? Flying! Oh, um, you're welcome. And for answering my questions back there, too. And telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So, I'll help you the best that I can. And, it's all just the machine. This world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly. I got to see the ocean. And I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. Prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad we've met as well. Despite the circumstances. Thinking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the Sivens too. That's true. So we've been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, you remember what to do to get to the surface. I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, now let me just... No! They're trapped on the island. Calamus, Lula, they're... We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. Likely, I'll be targeted again. So we split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door. Large clock. Room behind it. This is a pair of uh, ground access elevators. Oh, I know where you're talking about. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you, though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Anthony, let's do our best. Okay, I can walk through that, thankfully. There's no hitbox on it. Can't go there. Not relevant. Nope, no robot. Straight to the clock. Come on! Come on! Work already, huh? Alright, the elevator guy. Doesn't matter this way. Ugh, I think we should go talk to the guy first, Anthony. Come on. Come on! Now of all times. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're you! Ah jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into the elevator is missing a button, right? How did you know? Anthony I Anthony and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The vacuums are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours, and I can't figure out a thing. Vacuums? You know, from the West Apartments. Those girls that wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait. Didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, Anthony? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, Anthony. Only fudge. Looks like Anthony and I will need to find a different, another way down together. But well, we already know where that is. This is the only ele elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Alright, the eleventh hour. With the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want it to be right here when everything ends. Uh, this is not it. It's down. What happened to the things bolted to the table? Who took my stapler? <laughs> okay, I'm glad I went back and saw that. You're not on. Of course you're not. But it's kind of good you're not. 
I wouldn't talk to you if you It's locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. Documents is on the screen of the password prompt. Uh-huh. Are we going to get another message from our guy here? Whoa. Whoops. Skipped to the wrong image somehow. Oh, because it's still... This program's still sorting alphabetically, so okay. But this doesn't look different. But wasn't this an order before? What's different? Not, this is the old code. This file changed after the others. Right? Is it still Solstice? Try. Always my documents, apparently. Nothing else. Never any other folder. I guess it is kind of a safe folder to modify. Okay, it's still the same password. As before. What is this? Elevator 1? Elevator 2? With a pole chain? This guy's. This one's red. Oh. This one is green. This one is blue. And this one's purple? Question mark. Okay. Take the elevator. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. Wait. Lever hanging from the ceiling. Shit. Crowbar? Okay. It needs... So it's implied we need someone else. Assuming that going up here is bonus. But maybe it isn't, so we'll check. Okay, it's pointless, because she would have said something. He would have said something by now. Continue. Sorry, Nico. I'm still getting used to that. Whoops. ask you. Not you, okay. Something lost, I'm able to do anything, okay. some elevators yet. What? Seriously? Literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? You don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm guessing this is why there are two elevators because they're probably both going to come up. Wow, this world really does seem to be designed specifically for this exact scenario. Like, the entire world is specifically designed around this scenario happening. Yes, that's sort of like real life. It's just less obvious. Okay. Uh, you. Yes. Touch the lever. Gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yeah. So, um... We need help with again? There's a lever up there. Oh, right. Wait. Not that tall. 
worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Ah, yes, you have that stick for lights and stuff. Nice. Thank you, mister. No problem, kid. So, you coming? Mm -hmm. Okay, for this one I have to press enter. Oh, neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, what is going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe Nathan and I can... No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Alright, let's hurry. Recognize the area. I didn't know that elevator was there. Was that there before? Storm won't budge. Shoot. Yeah, that one's locked from the outside, isn't it? Why would any door ever be locked from the outside? Like, so that you couldn't unlock it inside, I mean, because a lot of, like, of course, your front door can be... The laps can be... The laps could collapse any moment now. Let go of me. Cedric? E. I couldn't stop him. Miss? Messiah! Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. 